All right, guys, welcome back. Team Fortress 2 time. All right. Let's see what we can find. Here's UGC. Let's see, we're looking for 24 players. This should work right here. Let's do this. UGC to US2. That's got openings. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, good old TF2. And Andy has a class loadout for me. Frontier Justice Wrangler and Gunslinger. That's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> That'll be fun. I haven't played Engineer seriously in a very long time. Pug's probably not here. He's probably watching the Oklahoma-Texas game. Oklahoma's winning right now. I'm sure he's happy. They should win that game. I'm, I've got it on TV, too. I'm, I'm watching the weather as well. The, the remnants of Hurricane Delta are in my area, but thankfully they have not disrupted the stream or anything. That's what I was concerned about more than anything else. Brat bots are on the... Stupid, they're easy to counter. They recently they've been switching class for they were just heavies. Yeah, you could just snipe them if they're just heavies. That would be easy. The sniper bots are the ones that absolutely ruin everything. Alright, so you wanted Wrangler, Gunslinger, and Frontier Justice. I've got vintage versions of all of those. <laughs> That's from back in the day. That was like nine years ago. All right, so let's put some other cosmetics on. Let's uh, let's just pick some new stuff for a change. Let's put on the Macho Man. It doesn't change much. The engineer's already wearing goggles. Let's put on the All Father. Let's, all of this stuff I just found randomly or crafted. in the Prairie Heel Biters. We'll put some spurs on him. All right, that's what we're going to do. You think you're in. All right, well, I'm going engineer, Andy. We're doing your uh, loadout. <laughs> for better or for worse, we're doing it. Here we go. All right, is that a spy? I wonder what team's dominating. Engineer can be hard to get going if your uh, team's not doing well with mini sentries. Let's start with this. Uh-uh, dude, you're not building stuff here. That's not going to happen. I'll push out if I have to. There's a spy like right there. I lost him. Alright, nice job, Heavy. Go ahead and get a dispenser up. Sentry is injured. Check the latency. Latency's okay, it's not great. It's not the greatest latency, but. It's the only two fort server with 24 players that's available right now. Is that a spy? No. Okay. I need to get my mini sentry out there. That's what I need. I don't remember if you can even move this. You cannot. Okay. That's unfortunate. Shirt. Sure third shot of the slinger crits. Yeah, that's right. I'd forgotten all about that. I had forgotten all about that. Alright, this weapon's obviously not going to do very good without the crits. If I get a kill with it, it'll be a miracle. Oh, my sentry got a... Oh, there's a spike right there, man. Right there. Andy has been moved for game balance. That spies around here, man. Should move my sentry up. No, you're not building it. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that's a disadvantage for him, honestly, not me. Third successful hit. Okay, that's right. I'd forgotten all about that that even existed. It has been so long since I've used any of these weapons. Do I have any crits? No, I do not. Oh yeah, your sentry has to get blown up for you to get the crits. Alright, well he's not right there.
I want my this. I'm moving this sentry up. I'm gonna I'm gonna blow it up and move it. Oh, you can get your crits that way too. I did not know that. We'll eat that. All right, that was successful. I'm gonna put it right here. This is a very obnoxious spot for a sentry. And he immediately saps it. And it's dead. Awesome. All right, that's fine. I can rebuild it. We have the technology. That is an annoying spot for sentries right there. I'm going to roll with that for a little bit. I've got crits. I'll probably lose them. I'm not a person that wants to hang back. I like to go forward, so my crits aren't going to last long. There it went. I missed. All right, I need to move my sentry forward. I think that would be useful. Let's blow it up. That's where we're going to put it. Alright, well he got it, but that's fine. Looks like we're going to get a little offensive engineering here. K4, did you get disconnected again? And this isn't even Skyle. Yeah, something's wrong with the community servers for you. That is, that is so weird. Which one were we on yesterday? Did that, that one seem to work? I don't remember what that was now. I can't believe it's not working. That That is so strange. Oh my god, I'm sandwiched between two. Yep. I wonder what the difference is between the community server coding now and just the standard Valve servers. I wonder what the difference is. It's All right, he's dead. This server is even different because it has the RTD roll thing. I'd forgotten about that as well. I can't believe it's not letting you play on community servers. I have n what in the world could be causing that problem? I have no clue. I'm gonna get sniped if I don't move. Want this moved up. I think it was some setting in my auto exec file. That's a good possibility. I, I didn't even consider that. See, I'm a, I'm a total idiot when it comes to any type. Uh, okay, we need to set up another sentry. That's probably not going to stop that heavy. That'll stop the medic, though. Your FPS is better. Okay, well, that that's a step in the right direction. Because your FPS was really struggling. Okay, we could try the... Uh, I think there's another UGC server. Oh, my God. Fucking friendly, dude! Hell! I haven't even tried wrangling this thing yet. Maybe I should try that. Nope, still free. Oh my god. Andy just knocked the friendly out. I love it. <laughs> That's so awesome. Crap. I'm not going to get anything accomplished with this heavy medic combo. Doesn't even look like a good one. Alright, medic's down. Dude, I don't care about friendly!
Yeah, we could try UGC one. I think that one's on the East Coast. Is you want to try that one? Let's try that one. Fort. That'll be the best. That's. That'll be it for today. Just play two fort for an hour or so. I need to look up and learn how man versus man is even played. I don't want to jump in there and not knowing what to do at all, because that would be the issue. Let's try this. This is the connection is good to this server, or maybe it's not. What connection are you guys having here? Or we could try the other Skyle server. No, I don't want to blacklist the server. That's freaking ridiculous. Don't ever ask me that. What Skyle server did we have the best connection to? It was this one. This was the New York one. Yeah. Yeah, at this point, if I were you, the only thing I would try left is maybe reinstalling Team Fortress 2. That's the only thing I could think of. I know that's a pain in the ass to do, but... Okay, I got into this server fairly easily. Let's just play this one. Let's just do this today. We'll try man versus man another day. I wonder what the status of this server is anyway. I see Gorth is on the server. I've had a hard time with him before. That's probably him right there. That's him. Yep, I knew it. I could tell. Oh, crap. What was that? You got in. Okay, well, the, the pings will be a lot better here than they were on that previous server. Is that an enemy spy? No, it's not. Okay, I recognize some of these people already. Some of the same people are always on this server. That's fine. He's going to be looking for me. There's someone else with the pain train. For a second, I thought that was Pug. But he's watching the Oklahoma game, I guarantee you. And they're winning. <laughs> oh, crap. That was not good. Alright, nice job there. Yeah, K4, I guess the only thing we can... I, I, I would just suggest reinstalling. I know that's a pain in the ass, but that's the only thing I could think to try at this point. That's what I would try. Should do man up if we do man versus man in the future. Okay. And get tickets real cheap. Yeah, I might have to pick that up. I've never tried it before. You guys have brought it up to me, but I have never never actually played it. I need to like watch a tutorial before playing it because I don't want to get in the game and just com be a complete moron about not knowing how it works or what to do or anything because I honestly have no clue. I have no idea how it works. I know you're fighting robots. That's the only thing I know. And I know that's not enough information to go on to actually be a useful member of the team. And that's what I want to be. So when it comes to playing with other players, I feel like I need to learn about the game first instead of trying to learn about it blind. Because then you're letting your team down if you don't know what's going on. That would be me. I've never done it before. That would be brand new. I mean, I could just add you guys on Steam. It's not like I'm ever even... I mean, it's not like it's that big of a deal at this point. I can just reject people I don't want added and just... Stuff like that. I need to just do that. That would simplify things a lot. That would make things simpler. If you guys do message me on Steam, though, if I do add do the friends thing, I'm not at this computer a lot, and this is where I have Steam installed with all the my usual settings. So if I don't reply, it's not like I'm ignoring anybody. I'm just not there. I have a totally separate work computer than I'm at when I'm doing work. And then if I'm not doing work, I'm usually doing something else. I'm not at this computer except usually to stream.
play it quite a bit. I can get pointers while playing. Yeah, because I'm an idiot when it comes to... I'm not a fast learner when it comes to new games. And when I get something, I've got it. But I, I am not a quick learner. That's usually why I just stick to 2 4 And I'm getting my medic killed because I'm not playing well. There we go. I got him. <laughs> there we go. Holy crap, this kill streak's actually... Well, it was going. I shouldn't have said anything! Yeah, I'm going to have to look at that offline and learn how man versus man works. I want to do that. And I guess we could, for if we were all on the same team in man versus man, I guess we could, uh, someone could set up Discord to try that out. I don't know how well that's going to work, but we could give it a shot. I, I'm not a, against trying anything. I mean, you guys are playing too. You have as much say as I do, really. I know I'm the one streaming, but I want everyone to be able to participate and have a good time. That's what it's all about. And then, since I started playing the community servers, that's what it's kind of turned into, is that I look forward to you guys jumping into the game as much as anything else these days. Because playing Team Fortress 2 by myself was getting a little bit stale. And, like, playing the community servers and you guys being able to join in has kind of, like, rejuvenated it for me a lot. So, I mean, I'm open to trying anything like that. I love 2-4. That's always going to be my bread and butter. But I, I would not be against trying some other stuff. I would not be against it. I can't believe that guy didn't kill me. How did I even live through that? Okay. Trying to get a full lobby for it so you don't have to deal with randoms. Yeah, I, yeah, we probably have to deal with some randoms early on. We probably only have like four or five players. But, uh... We could definitely... Give it a shot and see how it goes. And hope the randoms do something. I mean, I wouldn't be a, much of a contributor myself. So, oh my god, we're doing friendly. Good freaking god, don't do that. Just don't do it. It only goes up to six... Oh, okay, well we would have like most of... We would have at least four or five, I would expect for most games if we tried it. It's not, And we wouldn't be doing it every day. Most of the time it's going to be 2-4. But every now and then it would, it would not be a bad idea to try it. It really would not be. It's a lot like killing floor co-op. Yeah, I've never played that either. That's a problem. <laughs> I've never played anything like that. I'm like totally new on all this stuff. Andy, is that you? No, that's not you. I was about to say, there's a direct hit guy coming. But we could definitely try it sometime. I wouldn't be against it. In fact, uh, after this stream ends, why don't you guys go in and like send me a, a friend request on Steam again if you already haven't, so I can just add you. But just so you know, if you message me when streams are off, I probably won't respond right away. I'll get there, but it'll take a while. Oh my god. Oh, fucking shit, dude. <laughs> the freaking AFK guy killed me. You already have one pending. Okay, I'll have to look at the list on it. The, the pending list for friends on mine is literally like 200 people long because people have been trying to friend me for years and I haven't responded to any of them. So I'm going to have to dig through the list and like pick you guys out of it. I just stopped even looking at that years ago. So <laughs> it's going to be a, it's going to be fun looking through that. What the hell is this guy doing? Oh, that's the bot. That, that's the bot. I was about to say, that was incredibly weird behavior, but then I picked up on it. That is not a bot. That guy's going to one-shot me with a direct hit. No, he's not. It's St. Joseph getting stuff done. I see you with the force of nature. Let's get rid of that fire. Got him. All right. Scout is super easy, man versus man. Just grab money and not die, already. Okay. You can't send friend requests. 
What am I wearing? I'm wearing the the hot dogger and the virtual viewfinder. Look at my character right below where the face cam is, and you'll see I'm I'm doing the same thing as the character. This is some next level cosplay. Yeah, I'm wearing my scout cosmetic. I didn't create it just for the stream. I, a lot of people think I do, but I built this like a year and a half ago, and I'm a fairly new streamer. I've only been going a short time, like three months or something now. But I'm a former art and engineering student in high school and college, so I have some experience with like 3D art and modeling, and that's why I, I decided to do this. I just did it for fun. And then I decided to try streaming, and I was like, well, I've already built this kind of neat-looking uh, Scout cosmetic set, so let's wear it during the stream for TF2. Why not? And that's where I stand today. All right, I don't want this guy to build crap. I know he's going to do it. There he goes. That guy just keeps going in the water. Honestly, yeah. Atomic, that's what I'm worried about. I just don't want us join and play man vs. man and me just be completely garbage. So that's why I'm trying to... I need to learn a little bit about it before we do that. Need to learn a little bit about it. I can watch some tutorial videos or something on YouTube. Alright, we're, we're doing pretty good here. I'm getting some kills. There's a sentry right there. Almost ran into it. I'm so bad about doing... Uh, what? Uh-oh, I'm in trouble here. We'll hit him with the ornament. Oh, your frame for seconds making me want to scream in happiness. Oh, Andy, is it working out for you, dude? It is working out. I'm glad it's working. That was not a good shot. How was he not knocked back? Usually when that that does 40-something damage, that's usually enough for a knockback. Not 100%, but usually enough. There we go. All right, so we'll uh, we'll try man versus man sometime if that's what it's called, man versus machine. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called, and we're trying to play it. <laughs> it. Shows you what I know. Like many things in life, it just takes practice. Yeah. Hopefully, I won't be too too much of a drag on the team. Hopefully not. I'm, I'm like very self-conscious about that. I've played team sports ever since I was like five years old. And that's always been my biggest concern is make sure you're contributing to the team some in a good way. Always do that. And it always worked out for me, but that's always been a concern of mine. Alright, we're getting a couple of kills here. I feel like the t there's yeah, there's Gorth. He's a good sniper. And too bad Pug's not here to take him down. <laughs> I sniped against Pug for the first time yesterday, and I got wrecked. That dude can snipe. I even saw parts of it again on the YouTube video I just put up a little while ago. I was getting stomped. It was fun to try though. It was a lot. Of, uh oh. Yep, I saw that coming. Get the hell out of that. Come on, Pyro, chase me in the water. You know you want to do that. Alright, I'm going to defend Intel here or die trying. Got him. That was not a spy. I think you'll have to schedule the man versus man thing in advance so it's not so bad. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Like, we'll talk about doing it before actually doing it, like the day before. I think that would be the best thing. On Halloween, I may not have time to stream Team Fortress 2 because I want to play a Halloween-themed game that I owned as a kid, Ghosts and Goblins, on uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, on the Super Nintendo, and it is really hard and it is really long. From what I've read, I may not have time for Team Fortress 2 on Halloween Day, but I wanted to play a game that's like monstrous and Halloween-themed, and I can think of no better game for that than... Something for me that's retro based. 
So Super Ghouls and Ghosts is going to be on that day. And that game is hard as hell. It's probably harder than Battletoads. So I'm really looking forward to giving it a good try. And I'm going to play on Professional Difficulty too, which is the very hardest. I want to beat that game one day, so I should play Fear for Halloween. If I owned that, I would give it a try then. But I looked it up, like you said, and you have to buy the full uh, set of games before you can buy that first one. So I'm going to wait for that to go on sale before picking it up. What just happened there? Nothing good. Everything bad. That whole set of games is like $50, so if I wait for a good sale on it, I can probably pick all of them up for like, I don't know, like $10 or something. That's how I buy all my Steam games. You'd buy it for me? Oh, I don't want you to do that, man. That's 50 bucks. I don't want you to spend that much on me. I can afford it. I just, I'm, I'm super frugal with saving money. I'm kind of weird like that. The only time I buy a new game on Steam is if... Good Lord. I did not see that coming. No, don't buy it for me. I don't want you to do that. That's too much money. Wait for it to get on sale. I mean, uh, Thanksgiving's coming up. I mean, not Thanksgiving. The Christmas sale's coming up. That'll be the perfect time to get it. Absolute perfect. It'll be on sale for like 60 or 70% off. That will be the time to pick up new games. I don't think I've ever bought a game on Steam when it wasn't on sale, unless it was something like I was really, really, really looking forward to. And that does not happen often for me. Oh, I missed this guy at point blank range. I missed him again at point blank range. There we go, we got him. Good job, Rika. I've seen that person before, that's a good player. At least the first two anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't want you to spend 50 bucks, that's too much. We'll get it on sale, no big deal. No big deal. But for Halloween, I really want to do Ghosts and Goblins. Not Ghosts and Goblins, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I actually played it yesterday for a few minutes off stream just to re-familiarize myself with it. I couldn't even get past the first level, so I'm really excited about playing it. Alright, there was an injured guy right now. That's not who I was looking for, but we'll take this guy out anyway. Let's see if I can get through that without dying. Yep. And that was successful. That worked out. Warner Brothers doesn't care for fear. They sit on the IP after killing it with the third game. Yeah, I looked at the Steam reviews people have for it. The first game, by far had the best ratings and it was not close. That had really high ratings. Wow, that ornament shot hit that guy and killed him. I can't believe it. Now I'm dead. Great. Ugh. Uh, Andy, your ping is good. St. Joseph, your ping is good. 80 and 85. You guys are in good shape on this server. What is up with all these AFK people? They're playing better than the real players. And they're in like bot mode. Fear 3 is grade A trash. Oh boy. <laughs> you know, that was just an IP thing. That's like when they do movies and the sequels are garbage. They're just using the name. That's what that would be. Alright, ornament shot nailed him. That's that guy that was a bot. Yeah, that's that's not it's no fun killing that guy. It's, it's not even there to complain. Alright, got him. Half the other team's gone AFK now. Well, that's better than friendly, I guess. Anything's better than friendly, good god. Well, that's not what I had in mind there. I'm not chasing that guy down. That's a waste of time. Got him. Yep. Got him there. 
Miss. Come on. Finish him off. There we go. Not a big deal. A lot of damage on that heavy. I'm going back. Oh, I was hoping he would come this way. Oh, Ornament missed him by a foot. He's almost dead, dude. Okay. Got the sniper. That guy's probably really not happy with me. That happens when you kill the same sniper like a million times. Andy, I think I just got you killed by launching that heavy like right up to you. I think I just killed you. Sorry, man. I got you killed. Yeah, so I'm going to reverse course on my uh, Steam Friends thing. If you guys want to send me a Steam Friends request and you already haven't, go do so. I'll have to dig through the like 200 friend request to find it, but I will do it. But if that's the only way... We oh, crap. If we're going to be able to play man versus man or anything like that, that's going to be the way to do it. So we will do that. So it would definitely give us something else to play. Alright, got him down. Both heavies went down. I had no excuse for dying on that last one. None whatsoever. Alright, that was a meat shot. That's a spy. Don't be so obvious. Alright, heavy was up there. I see him. Hit him with the mill. That will maybe not help at all. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was about to say that might be bad. Both using Natasha. Yeah, and they're not doing a good job with it because if they were, I'd be dead by now. I would be so dead. Still pissed Warner Brothers for their ham fisted mishandling of Gotham City Imposters. That game had so much potential but only had better developers. Were they like. Uh, that was obviously using the Batman name, and I've heard that not all the Batman games that have been put out on Steam have been good, even though some of them have been excellent. I've got one of them, like Arkham Asylum something, and I haven't tried it yet, but I got it on Steam super cheap. And I heard it was really good, and it was on sale, so that's when I pick up new games. Alright, red team is really aggressive right now, but they don't seem to be accomplishing much besides that sniper. And they've got our intel too, that's weird. St. Josen and Andy are both playing sniper. I've scout as well. Alright, gotta stay in the air here, we're gonna get this guy, alright. I got lucky right there. I'm not going to finish him off. Nope, not happening. Is he not dead? Good lord, die already. I feel like the red team is just like everywhere. Ornament shot got someone. It's a fun round. I love Fear, one of the great games of all time. It looked like uh, something I, I mean, I've been playing through the original Doom to Doom and Doom 2, so a single player campaign in a first person shooter that I haven't played before would be fun. And since you recommended it so highly, I bet I would enjoy it too. I like those kind of games. Oh, what? Good lord. Bad shot. Awful shot. Deserve to die. Deserve to lose a kill streak. Boy, I'm racking up kills today. This is a much... Okay, just ran into something. Don't know what that was. This kill-death ratio today is way better than normal. The red team is not doing a great job. That's how I determine how good the other team is, how many times I'm dying. And right now, it is not great for them. And usually on weekends lately, I've been playing against good players. All right, that, that, there's a pyro switching to shotgun in the water. That's and Saint Joseph finish them off. Nice job. Okay, there's a demo around here, and he's dead. <laughs> okay, that was a, that was a cheap ass kill right there, man. That was cheap. 
That was cheap. They got snipers. That means we got a job to do. Well, we are just overrunning them big time right now. How is he not dead, man? Bullshit. I disagree. That was more than 125. I know it was. Well, I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. But that's what it felt like. Alright, you want to follow me? I hope you do. I was not counting on that. There he goes. I need the health. This is fun to do if there's no sentries in the other bases. Go down to the enemy basement, harass them, and then run down there and get... Oh, they... they they got smart on me. They went sentry. Things were fun there for a minute. As soon as I mention it, sentry goes up. Oh, is he going for health? Yep. Alright, let's set up an ambush right here. Got him. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for more. Not going to be able to... Oh, he's coming back and dead again. Alright, this, this can be fun to do. It can piss people off when you do this. All right, he's coming for me again, and dead again. All right, <laughs> this is fun. Usually, if you do this for too long, though, they catch on. What is this engineer doing? All right, what kind of sentries do they have here? All right, that's what I was talking about. You linger around too long, they will find you. Guy was probably saying Scout is in the basement, need help killing him or something like that, and that's how it ended up. Oh, nice job right there by our demo knight. Very nice. Alright, ornament shot connected. Always fun to just throw it up there like that. Oh, a heavy trying to punch me, not being friendly? What is this? What was that? <laughs> That's not what I was looking for. I'm glad he's doing it though. He's fighting. I was a little bit taken aback. He ended up hitting me because I was just in sheer disbelief that he was trying to fight. Alright, the old force of nature stun in the air right there. I love that. There's a cheap kill. Uh, that might not have been a kill. That might have been Dead Ringer. Might have been Dead Ringer. Missed him completely. Alright. Didn't deserve it, but I'll I have to accept it. That's a teammate. Last thing I'll say on fear for today is when you do get it, play the first one on hard. I will do that. I love playing games on hard. I do that with pretty much every game. If there's an option to turn it on hard, I will. Even if I get wrecked. I can always turn it down later, but I, w I like to start with games on hard. That, that was the worst play imaginable right there. Then play the expansions on normal. Normal for the expansions is the same as hard for the base game. I don't know. Maybe I'll play those on hard, too. I, I just like doing it that way. <laughs> Alright, he was not aiming for me, obviously. He was aiming for the demo night, and I happened to run into the line of sight. Alright, where is this guy going and what is he doing? I'm missing him. There he goes. So Andy, what's your your frames per second still working good? Changing those settings? I'm glad to hear that. Oh boy. Not what I wanted there. Come on in the water. Sometimes they will. I love it when pyros chase me into the water. That is hilarious. I didn't finish him off there. Didn't do anything there. I don't know what I was trying to accomplish. Extreme is BS hard. Do not play it. It will ruin your first impression of the game. I'm, now yeah, I'm getting tempted to try it. <laughs> I'm getting tempted. I can always turn it down later. I mean, on Halloween, I mean, I'm going to play Super Ghouls and Ghosts on Professional. Most people will not touch that, refuse to ever even consider it, but I'm going to do it. So 
Sometimes masochistic levels of hard are fun to try. Alright, I shouldn't have done that. They had, uh, they had crits. Not gonna matter, though. Oh, I got crits, too, even though I, I once again didn't deserve them. That's always a complaint people have. Mixer, you cheat. You crit too much. Well, sometimes I do get a lot of crits. And it shows up in the log as a crit with the Australian force of nature for some reason. That's, that's not my fault. That's a valve issue. Alright, there we go. We're not going that way. We're going this way again. How is he not dead? I was shooting too much. I could try the first level on that maximum difficulty. That would that would work, right? I could probably get through that. See, I've tried Night Doom on Nightmare before, and that is not fair either. That's just ridiculous. But it, it's fun to just mess around with it and see how it, see how it plays out. I've definitely done that before, but it is not any type of way to play the game. But I kind of see your point on that, though. Anyone that played the original Doom on Nightmare... Why didn't my gun fire? What the hell was that crap? Something should have happened there. Something other than me dying. Alright. What the hell was that? Okay. I was about to say, if I let that sniper get away with no hit points again... Didn't kill him. Good lord. There we go. Nothing bothers me more when I'm from my own point of view and combat in Team Fortress than leaving, letting someone get away with no health. That annoys me to no end. I'm glad he switched to that. Big damage on the heavy. Big damage. I'm not chasing him right there. There might be a sentry around the corner. And no one wants to deal with that. Alright, nope. Not going that way. Not gonna do it. He is in a very vulnerable position right there. Why didn't he just kill me with his flamethrower? He had an easy opportunity to do so. I want to shot hit someone. And that was not good. That was bad. So tomorrow I'm going to try something a little bit different for my first game before Team Fortress 2. I'm going to play a Neo Geo game. That's a system, an arcade-based system that came out back in the 90s. A lot of people have never heard of it. It was super expensive to buy the home version of it. I bought it when it was on a clearance sale. Normally the system itself was like 600 bucks and the games were $200 each. But I bought them for super cheap because they were just clearing out inventory. And I was like, I am jumping all over this. Oh no, no, good lord, engineer survived that fight. Metal Slug, nope, it's going to be Samurai Showdown. That's one of my all-time favorites. I do own Metal Slug, I will play it another day though. I wanted to play Samurai Showdown because that's what I played the most and I have the box and the game for it here in my room. The, the Metal Slug and the other games are somewhere else. But I will play that. I'd really like to like show the actual physical copy of the game on stream before I play it. Because a lot of people don't have that. They've never even heard of it. So I think that would be kind of cool to sh show on top of playing the game. Metal Slug's great though. I really like that. It's got unlimited continues. But I can like limit myself to like three or something to try and make it... I like add artificial difficulty to it because they're using the arcade based system for that to where you just pump in more coins. But I will definitely play, I'm looking forward to playing that tomorrow. It's a one on one fighting game with weapons and it's, it's all Japanese themed and stuff. It's, it's really good. I played it so much as a kid.
and I'll be playing it on max difficulty as well so I'm gonna try and get through it that way I'll pick a character and stick with that character through to the end not played it in a long time so I will be pretty rusty but I'm looking forward to it what is this guy doing He's dying that's what he's doing Okay, I gotta be careful there there's gonna be sentries not there not there either all right all right there's got to be a sentry around here somewhere I swear to God I was not at the right angle to be shot by that that's why I was moving slowly that's why I was moving slowly that's my fault for not getting in the damn water that is my fault next time get in the water anytime there's a high threat of good sniping you gotta get in the water if you're I'm gonna have to go soldier if, if that guy's sentry lasts too much longer right there I'm gonna be forced to go to soldier I will do it I was around the corner and then I fell backwards. This game and its hitboxes, dude, I swear. There, they're dead. Shouldn't have taken that much work, but that's how it goes. Good shot. Good shot. He was looking for me that time. I don't blame him. I've dealt with that guy many times. I get a little predictable on my jumps out of the water as force of nature. Sometimes I take the same side too many times. I need to mix it up a little bit, like go on this side. That time he might not have been looking for me. I don't know. I just gave my positioning away, though. Oh, that was Andy. You got switched teams. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. I see you up there. How are you not dead? Ah. Oh. Crap. Alright, that worked. <laughs> Maybe Andy will provide us some good scout one-on-one -on -one play. I'm not very good at scout one-on-one, -on -one, but I like to try it. It's fun. Alright, he went for a point. No, I'm not going to let this guy arrow me. There he goes. I was taking a big risk there. I was just counting on... Maybe he won't headshot me right there. Maybe he'll just miss. Alright, there was a scout there. Oh, he's over there. Andy, is that you? Yep. <laughs> I thought so. Alright, other scout went down. No snipers. They're, they're going to stop sniping at this at this rate. Big damage on that heavy, man. That's massive damage. Alright, I took a chance there. It was worth it. That was just an ambush kill. This is rolling along fairly well. I seem to do a little bit better when there's not quite as many people on the server. I'm going to pull back here. I shouldn't be starting fights with 20 hit points. That is not a good thing to do. Water's clear. Oh, Andy. Oh, that was... <laughs> that's the weird, odd kill with Force of Nature where you launch your opponent high into the sky and then he falls to his death because you landed a perfect meat shot. Sometimes that you get lucky to do that. Yeah, that's what happened. You took falling damage, Andy. You got launched high enough, just enough for it. No snipers. I, th I think that guy's just getting getting tired of me up there. Let's break a dispenser. Our team's starting to surge forward a little bit. Here's a victim right here. There we go. 
That's a bad place to get caught as heavy right there. That's the last place you want to get caught as heavy. Alright, where did he go? No snipers. Now, they're being a little more discreet now. Still a sentry in there? Of course there is. Why would there not be at this point? Oh my god, good shot. I did not think he would land that shot. I did not think he would land it, and he did. Don't underestimate a good sniper. Yep, I was waiting on you there, Andy. When I see another scout coming across the top of the bridge like that, I do wait on them. Force of nature can really mess them up. Alright, is there anything to break? Alright, that was a good ambush. I'll give him credit for that. I will give him full credit for that. Andy, you got no teammates are pushing besides you. It is just you pushing. You're getting no support from your guys there. All the rest of them are like huddled up around that sentry gun. Alright, he tried to ambush me that time. I think the scout, the spy right there saved me. He was focusing on him. You just got face stabbed, Andy. That's nothing you did wrong there. You got face stabbed. <laughs> There's no way that spy should have killed you from that positioning. There's absolutely no way. St. Joseph's doing work sniping. I saw that. not looking for me there. Alright. No, oh, I can't go that way. Forgot. There we go. That was a crit. That was cheap. Sometimes you gotta roll with the cheap shots. Looks like we're not gonna get any bad weather system here. I'm glad about that. There was a ch they were weather was a uh, report was being given that there was a chance of isolated tornadoes here in Alabama today and it looks like that did not happen. I'm thankful for that. In 2011 we had an F5 tornado here. It was really really bad. Oh, nice job dodging my ornament shot, Andy, if that's you. Yep, <laughs> I was trying to kill you with it. Yeah, we had an F5 tornado here back in 2011, Tuscaloosa area. It was incredible. Never seen anything like that. Never will again. Probably not. Someone's going sewers. All right, now you took the friendly out. I hesitated for just a second so you would kill that friendly. <laughs> and it worked out perfectly. Great job. I was thinking, oh, he's going to shoot that friendly. Don't kill him yet. Perfect. Perfect. That's the last thing we need is friendly scum infesting the server. Then we on that UGC server earlier, dude. It was it was ridiculous. All right, I'm going for the sniper. I saw him firing at me. Is he looking for me? Nope. I just got him. Just got screwed him up right there. All right, that heavy's not up here. Otherwise, he would have killed me. I was not. There he is, right there. Got the engineer. Heavy's right around this corner. I know. Uh oh, I didn't expect a huntsman. Wasn't looking for that. Alright, engineer's down. Sniper must be dead, too. This is like a perfect amount of people to have on the server. It really is. It's like 10 on 10 right now. That's what cl uh, clan matches used to be for Quake Team Fortress back in the day. We played 10 on 10. It was really good. Oh, I'm mil oh, that guy just popped up out of nowhere, that spy. We were having a good one-on-one -on -one fight. Alright, is there... Yeah, there's crap in... Oh, no! Oh, they want my kill streak. I shouldn't have wasted time on that stupid dispenser. I shouldn't have done that. You deserve that one.
I got caught napping there. I see you. Oh. There we go. You got caught napping. Potus crab, what's up, dude? Hope you're having a good day. Oh, St. Josen's been switched over. Okay. Red team's getting more of an infusion of better players now. Both you guys were on my team earlier. Now you're both on red. I'm just picking people off and moving as I go. It's working. Auto... Oh, now you're moved... Okay, you're on my team now. St. Josen got moved to red. That is some wacky auto balance, man. That is wacky stuff. <laughs> I can't say I approve. It should move the person with the lowest score. I've said that a million times, but that's what it ought to do. It doesn't do that. It won't do it, and because they're too lazy to code that to happen. That's what the problem is. They don't do a very good job coding. I'm just gonna blame Valve. That's a that's a sensible thing to do. All right, that that was close. You're gonna go back and get health. Nope. They're all setting up an ambush in the base here. All right, that was on cooldown. Of course, it's on cooldown. He should not be using the Machina. That just gives his positioning away. I am but Miss Grandma. Did she pass away lately? Dude, that sucks. It's never easy to lose family members. That's something we all have to deal with. It does suck. I've dealt with it more... quite a bit. Oh, that was a good shot right there. I was, I was trying to set you up for another shot and that guy stole my kill. Okay, ornament shot connected from an awkward angle that I was not looking for. What time is it? I gotta keep an eye on time. Okay, 2.39. We still got some time. No big deal. Got off to a later start in Team Fortress today. I really wanted to get K4's issue fixed so he could join in too. That sucks. I don't know why, why Valve screwed you over like that. That yeah, really sucks. He did it again. Okay, yeah, you can sit up there. You can do it. You can sit in your base. That's fine. Now, St. Josen, you're the only one pushing, and no other reds are supporting you. This is like a constant theme here. She passed away when I was two years old. I wish she was here. Yeah. It's tough, man. It's tough. Both my grandparents passed away quite a ways back. I knew them very well for many years. I got a lot of good years, so that's, a, that's all we can hope for. All right, he's not sitting up there this time. There's sentry over there. There probably is. All right, he's dead. We got blues all over the place. It is dangerous for Red to do anything right now. Yeah, he's just hugging that dispenser. God damn it. Alright, well this guy's had it. That guy just joined the server. He's going to learn it's, it's quite dangerous out here right now. It is dangerous. Let's help our teammate out here. How to get in the air? Are you gonna get sniped? Oh, he went that way, of course. Got him. All right. Nope, I, that wasn't me. Okay. No, oh, run for your respawn. <laughs> that's funny. Grandmother's still alive. She's in her 80s. Oh, she's lived a good long life. That's a. That is a good one. I think my grandmother was like 87 when she passed away. That was about, mm, about nine years ago.
Always tough. Always tough to lose your family. St. Joseph, I bet that's you up there. You're the only one leaving your team's base. <laughs> yep, that was you. No one else is leaving your base. I don't blame this guy for not leaving. He's sniping. Alright, he bled to death. Good enough. Good enough. My aim is good. I like to... Eh, it's good sometimes. Sometimes it's hot garbage. <laughs> I try. I try really hard. But sometimes my aim is just god-awful. I feel like I've improved it some lately because I've, I changed some settings and improved my frames per second. So I like to think it's a little better now than it was. This game just is, does not cooperate with good frames per second a lot of the time. Oh, I didn't expect that. Okay. Well, he's not looking for me there. There I am. <laughs> I try that trick on Pug now and he's ready for it. <laughs> he's seen it way too many times. God damn it. That, <laughs> that's stupid timing on my part. I knew he would be respawning. I guess I was hoping he'd just pick another another way to go. Alright, who was that and where did they go? Alright, there he is. It's a demo night. Why are you not moving? Don't do friendly. Don't, don't do that. Oh, there's St. Josen right there. Using the force of nature it looks like. Oh, I lost track of you. I thought you were going to go back that way. You did not. Good move. I count on people being predictable a lot to make my kills. Alright, I can get rid of Girati. Not a good... Okay, this guy's going sewers. Hopefully not being... Fr Dude, move! Don't... It is no fun at all dealing with friendly. Alright, that was close right there. Almost a kill there. Almost. Not quite. There's that Huntsman guy. And I get pummeled because I was looking at the sniper. That yeah, I gotta pay more attention. Someone said they're having Twitch in your name. Make sure to try hard. Okay, if that's what they want to think, that's fine. Does not bother me. There's that word again. Try hard. There's that word again. That word is repeated like so many times. Oh, we caught that guy away from his respawn. Finally. That's the guy that takes a hit and he runs to his respawn instantly. Finally caught him. Sentry over there. There's, there's some other guy standing right next to that dispenser. He will not give it up. And I disagree with that guy's thinking. Twitch TV does not mean you're a tryhard. It means you're streaming on Twitch. I'm sure there's people that have streamed on Twitch that have not been friend, that have not tried hard to play the game. I'm sure that's happened many times. That was a lucky shot. I don't know how that even connected. What's going on here? I'm gonna get pummeled if I don't move again. There we go. Dude, fight back. I'll even give you a chance to. Okay, he's trying to fight back. Good enough. That's not going to help. That is not going to help. Good shot. I was waiting on that guy to finally do that, and he did it. I wish you kill someone because my aim sucks. Well, I have a lot of practice aiming. I still don't think I'm very good. There's so many scouts that are just so much better than me. It's not even close. Uh-oh, you've switched to sniper now. That could be trouble. There's a guy trying to be friendly. I don't do that stuff. He's gonna learn the hard way. Good shot by the huntsman guy. I don't even know where he was. Four people got hit by that one Jurati. How about that? There, I was hoping that would happen. That same heavy is standing by the same dispenser for like the past 20 minutes. I don't see how that's fun either. Alright, they're dying here.
one of the reasons I put Twitch in the name is so that way people I play against, which has happened a lot, that have played really well, have dropped by the channel and said, hey, good game, dude. That's happened quite a few times. And if people want to come and ask me, why are you such a tryhard, I'm going to say I'm just playing the game. It's no big deal. I mean, I just don't find it fun to just stand there and stare at each other, like the the friendly stuff. I don't I don't understand that. My brain has not comprehended it. I don't get it. Oh, someone got mil uh, gerotted right there. Whoa, that was close. Get him there. He goes. Oh, good shot, good shot. This Oklahoma-Texas game getting too close. Yeah, I was wondering where you were, Pug. I was going, yep, yeah, bet Pug's watching this game. I've got it on TV, too. 31-24, 24 seconds left. you got to stop them here. Second 10. Incomplete. Oh, a flag on the play. That's bull crap. Yeah, I disagree with that one. All right, that didn't hit. No, oh, oh, look at this pyro jumping in the water after me. That's the worst mistake you can make right there. Why would you ever do that? All right, got St. Joseph trying to retreat backwards there. Oh. Should have turned my. I shouldn't have turned my back there. That's twice I've gotten caught right there. Mixer, can you help me with more achievements? Yeah. Wh which one you want to try and do? You want to do another scout one? You want to try and get the. Uh, you want to work towards getting that force of nature. If it's an easy, quick one, we should be able to do it. And I, I don't remember which ones would be under that description right now because I haven't looked at the scout achievements like. God, like eight years or something. Okay, this guy's really tough right here. All right. He's much better as a pyro right there than he is a... I mean, much better as a scout than he was doing as pyro. Caught sleeping. Oh, is that let someone shoot you from behind with the force of nature a certain amount of times? I think I remember that one from long ago. Oh, good fight. Good fight. Oh, that's not how it should have ended. <laughs> that's not how it should have ended. Oh, Texas scored a touchdown. That sucks. You know, the media is like wetting themselves right now. Destroy one building while it's under construction. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do that. We can easily do that. When you get a chance, move over to the red team and we'll do it. Oh, that was a stupid shot. That guy was wide open. Is he still alive? Yeah, he is. Uh, just wait. Eventually, the, it, there'll be a chance for you to switch teams more than likely. Like when someone leaves from the red team or whatever, you should get an opportunity. St. Joseph's the only one trying to do anything on red right now. The rest of the red team's hiding in their respawn. Gorth is doing a good job sniping. The rest of them not doing a whole lot. Oh, crap. Oh, that was the guy that was playing Huntsman earlier. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you that achievement soon as we're able to. Can probably do it in the sewers again. We did it there. We got you that other one there the other day and that was quick and easy. That heavy has been standing by that dispenser for literally like 30 minutes now. It's unreal. <laughs> I'm in disbelief. Literal disbelief. cannot believe it. How do you not get bored doing that? That's like the guy that plays engineer and puts his uh, stuff in the basement on 2-4 and like nothing happens for like an hour. Alright, I 
right, I'll just toss the ornament in there. I don't know who that hit. Is this guy being friendly? Yeah, it looks like he is. I don't care if he is. And that time I was ready. I knew he'd be respawning. That guy's not left the base yet either. So many guys won't leave the base. What's going on today? I mean, that happens every day, I know, but today it just seems a little more over the top than it normally is. Is that going to hit anybody? Almost. Is he coming this way? No, he went in the water. Okay, let's go fight. Pugs, um, Pugs dominating. Gorth is a good sniper, too, and you're just, you're already dominating him. <laughs> you don't mess with Pug. I found that out the hard way. Dude wrecked my face. You don't snipe against him. Alright, engineer. Hurt pretty bad. Finish him off. Alright, got him. That guy's standing right there launching rockets. He's been doing that for a long time. Oh, St. Joseph, you must have like no hit points. I, I, that was like a glancing blow somehow and it killed you. I did not earn it. Scout is definitely at an advantage in the water. That is definitely a place I can pick up some kills. I bought myself a new sniper. Really? Which one did you get? Did you get the one you were talking about the other day? The one that cost a like a hundred and eight dollars? Alright, I got him. Ten kill streak. I shouldn't mention it. Every time I mention a kill streak, it just absolutely ends. Like, kind of like that. <laughs> oh, par for the course right there. <laughs> Pro Kill Street Classic, very nice, excellent. Now you can start farming kills on that. Someone just went water. Okay, it's that guy. Uh, probably being friendly again. Rustic Conductor, I've seen him plenty of times. Didn't finish him off. That bugs the hell out of me when that happens. Let me guess, the heavy's still standing at that dispenser. Yeah, of course he is. Why would he not be? Oh, bad shot there. Got to get in the air right there, and you can protect yourself from a headshot. And it works some of the time, not all the time. Andy, have you been able? Nope, you haven't been able to switch yet. Okay. Scout was going... Oh! He doubled back. Very nice move. That's a trick I like to pull. When another scout pulls it on me, I'm like, Oh, taste my own medicine there for a change. Weather's still holding up good. I'm happy to see that. Almost got you with the ornament. Thought I could finish you off with that. Nope. That heavy. He's still there, man. He's still there. Oh, I slipped off the battlements. They're all just sitting there. Okay. Well, I'm going this way. Maybe that'll change course a little bit. Or maybe they'll just stay there. Of course they'll just stay there. Why would they not? Alright, we're going to go this way. It's probably not going to work out, though. It's probably not. I'm not going to pick the intel up. I'll just give my position up. And go back to that dispenser. Good lord, they love that dispenser. They cannot get enough of it. Bonk sucks horribly. Bonk is god awful. It didn't used to be that bad. They nerfed it. 
they, they nerfed it horribly. Now there's a sentry on the battlements. That sucks. I don't want a sentry on the battlements. That's not in the worst spot it could be, though. It's really not. Alright, I had to dodge him. Let's see if this hits him. Yeah, that actually hit him around the sentry. I can't believe that. I'm not going to get this. He's repairing it. Yeah, I'm pulling out. Alright, I got St. Josen with the ornament. That'll work. That doesn't always work, but sometimes when someone's pulling back right into that spot, sometimes it hits them directly on, and that time it worked. That's what I go for. That did not do what I wanted. I was hoping to hit the engineer. He's not the yeah, he's, he's there. He's there. He's repairing it. I see it. Alright, is that the guy that built the damn thing? I think it is. Now we'll kill it. I don't have much health, but... No, nope, we're not going to kill it. We're not going to kill it. I think the medic absorbed one of those shots. Oh, that sucks, man. <laughs> that sucks. Ugh. Alright, I'm going to get sniped up here more than likely, but I'm going to try it. There we go. More than likely pick a kill up if you push someone right there into the water. That was not a good shot there. That was a direct hit kill. Okay, I was wondering how you died from that. And the sentry's gone. Thank God. Well, not a whole lot of opportunities for kills here. There's really not. Alright, got the engineer. Somehow, some way, it happened. <laughs> I'm too hurt to work on go to work on that sentry. He's gonna repair it though. Nothing else can be done about it. And nothing in the water, that's good. Actually, it's bad. That pre prevents me from killing somebody right there. Nothing here. Sentry up. This is usually where it's a good idea to go soldier. And it got me from an impossible angle. you, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> impossible. That was inconceivable right there. That's a, and it shot me again. It's got just enough angle to hit me right there. Like, just enough. Alright, we're gonna go this way again. Good God, what? Sniper's dressed up like Waldo. That's the first time I've seen or thought of Waldo in like 25 years. <laughs> I can't believe that. I had those books when I was a kid, Find Waldo Now and all that stuff. That was fun. I like that. That guy should be dead. He is. Alright. Not a good shot there. Much better there. No, you're not repairing it. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Yeah, I gotta get out of there. Danny Tiger, what's up, man? Just about finishing up for the day, but it's been a fun round. It's been fun. This sentry has given me all kinds of grief. That has not been fun to deal with, but other than that sentry, it's been pretty good. He did not... Oh, crap. That sentry, man. I hate it with every ounce of my being. I'm starting to hate it more than I hate friendlies. And y'all know that, that's kind of high up there. <laughs> that is kind of high up there. I 
I might just go soldier just for the sake of killing that sentry because I, I hate it so much. It shot me again, dude. It just shot me again. That is the biggest thorn in my side. Hope you're having a good day as well, Danny Tiger. Like I said earlier, if you guys want to add me on Steam, I'm going to do that now. But I'm not at this computer a whole lot during the day, so if you message me or something, I'm not ignoring you. I just haven't seen it yet. But I will get back to it eventually. And I'm, I've got to go through all the friend requests and find the ones specifically from you guys, because that's going to take a while. I've got like 200-something friend requests, and I've never answered any of them. I just let them be. Now I'm going to have to dig through them. Quit being friendly. Just kill him, man. Just kill him. Don't stare at him. That sentry's there. Alright, I'm backing up. Good shot, St. Joe's. And I did not expect a sticky to come flying in there. <laughs> That's the last thing I thought. Alright, almost got sniped there. That sentry's providing so much cover for their sniping up there. Is that the son of a bitch that built it? I think it is. Now maybe I can go kill it. Nope, not gonna happen. And it shot me again. Ah, I can't get it. This is how it's gonna keep going until I get rid of it. I'm going over there and getting it. This will get the job done. I'm so done with that sentry, man. It's time for me to go for the day. I've been streaming for over three hours, but I'm so done with that sentry. I just want it to die before I go. See, there it went. Problem averted. All these other guys, I don't care if they kill me. I killed that sentry. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Two quick shots with the... Lock and load is all it takes to knock it out. Well, that's all it takes. He's going to rebuild it, but I had to get back at it. Oh my god, I, I shot him twice and nothing happened. Nothing happened. Sentry been rebuilt. He's probably in the Twitch chat, that engineer, laughing about how much I complain about it. That wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Can't get up there. They are still camping their own battlements like absolute nuts up there. They are camping the hell out of those battlements. Normally these types of rounds don't... The non... The non-32 player 2-4 usually doesn't wind up it's quite a big a camp fest as it's been here today. It, it, it's a little over the top. There is so much camping going on on the battlements. Oh, I just got caught napping there. I did not even notice that. There we go. We got him. I was staring at the battlements because why wouldn't I be? That's where everything's been going on. Got no health, but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna finish this guy off at least. Now he's gonna get away. I was hoping the ornament shot would clip him. It did not. Not in range of snipers. You always make yourself vulnerable. when you jump out with force of nature like that. I get sniped a lot of times doing that. There we go, we got him. The guy's making it really close every time. They got the intel, maybe we can stop that. Is that a scout? Yes it is. There he goes. That was a scout. I was about to say, Medic, you really shouldn't melee him there. If he kills you, he's going to get a big health infusion from the half Zatoichi. What are these people doing? Are they being friendly? 
I don't know what kind of bleed hit me there. I have no clue. Oh, there's enemies down there. I was looking at the Twitch chat. <laughs> I'm going to get this guy this time. There he goes. All right. Oh, good timing on the heels there. Nice shot by Pug right there. Finish him off. There's multiple. Okay, that's a lot of snipers up here all of a sudden. Let's fight them. Two down. Let's get the third guy. Nope, not going to get him. All right, I'm not going to spawn camp him. Yeah, it's not something I like to do. I will spawn camp the hell out of an engineer, but no one else. Spawn camping an engineer is fun because that way you stop them from repairing their sentry and you stop them from building it in an obnoxious spot. That guy's just launching his pills in just random directions. That oh, oh, that's St. Joe's, and I, I recognize your loadout. That was a close fight, man. I was down to 16 health. That was a close fight. Very nice work. I've approached 15 kill streaks several times, but I've not quite broken it yet. It's something always I shouldn't mention it though. Every time I mention the kill streak, you gets wiped out instantly. Alright, I'm, I'm in the shittiest possible position I could be right there. Let's just clear out. I don't know what I was trying to do there. I should have just shot him when I had a chance. There we go. Give me your hot dog hat. It's beautiful. Well, I can't take credit for making it myself. I did the measurements for it. Do Dylan, JK Dylan, sorry if I mispronounced it. Uh, I did the measurements for it. I did all that stuff. I planned it out, the size and all that. And a, a family member of mine that's very talented was able to sew it together for me. She did all the work, made it look absolutely great. I could not have asked for more. I built the face piece though, the virtual viewfinder. I built that myself, but I got a lot of help with the hot dogger. No, oh, he's looking for me now. I thought so. Almost got him. Sometimes you can get a kill doing that. This guy didn't notice any of that going on. That's unbelievable. Alright, trying to jump around the corner there and just whiffed on it completely. He might be looking for me. I jump around up there the battlements so often that people just, eventually they start waiting for me. Pug sniping, he's keeping it nice and clear. Alright, leave him with 10 health, wonderful. Blue team definitely on the advantage. This OU game is stressing me out. <laughs> yeah. This is like a, to a typical Big 12 game, Pug. You guys score so many points in your conference, it's ridiculous. SEC is usually a little more defensive oriented. Big 12, you guys just go crazy with the offense. That family member did a great job on the hat. Yes, she did. She got the job done. Highly impressive. My god, my team is like all on the battlements now. Alright, well we're up to 15 kill streak. Let's see what's going on here. That that guy finally left that dispenser. There was a heavy literally standing by a dispenser up there for like almost an hour. Alright, ornament shot almost connected there. That was worth a try. Basically the hot dogger part, it's built on top of like a sailor hat. Just like a sailor hat that you use for a costume or something and all the extras were put over it and sewn together at the right size so she did a really nice job there's no way I could have done that I, I my background is in art and engineering drafting but I have no sewing skills there's no way I could have done the hot dogger no chance We cannot make any kind of push in their base right now. There we go. Alright guys, clear out. This 
a spy up there. I haven't seen many spies today. Wow, he was... He is desperate to end my kill streak right there. It happens sometimes. Look at this guy. There went his stuff. <laughs> there went his stuff. Oh, that was... He was carrying a teleporter, man. That's, that's worthless. First Big 12 team to get a defense worth anything will win a national championship. I don't doubt that. I don't. My dad and I were talking about that when we played Oklahoma like a couple of years ago when Kyler Murray was your quarterback. We were like, if this team ever puts starts putting together a, de a defense, everyone else is screwed. <laughs> we even got off to a big start, um, a large lead in that game and y'all's offense brought you all the way back within a couple of quarters and I was like scared to death whose dispenser is this anyway oh it's that Luigi guy okay I don't think that guy was looking for me right there oh that would have been a kill with the ornament if I just aimed it a little more to the right Soldiers are almost dead. Got him. All right, that was a lucky shot. I have, I do not deserve to have this kill streak go this long. I really don't. It's gonna be lost if I'm not super careful. But when have I ever been super careful? That's like never. Saint Joseph, sorry, dude. I was not aiming for you. I was aiming for the sniper. <laughs> just happened to run into the line of sight right there. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes it does. Next death, I think I'm going to have to go, guys. It's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it greatly. Alright, I'm not going to start a fight with a soldier right there. That is definitely not to my advantage. Look at all these snipers, dude. <laughs> They're all going for Pug, I bet. I bet they're mad at Pug. Alright, that worked out. Is that soldier still over there? That was a lucky shot again. St. Joseph, sorry, dude. I'm getting absurdly lucky with these shots against you. Absurdly lucky. And you deserved it. <laughs> you absolutely deserve that one, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, what time is it? Is it close? Oh, it's, God, it's after three. Holy crap. <laughs> you lose track of time so much playing this game. Every time I stream, I'm like, okay, I, I haven't been streaming but a few minutes. I'll check the clock and it'll be like two hours later. Oh, crap. Good shot. Exacom, uh, uh, thanks man, I appreciate it. I think I'm pretty average. My biggest advantage is my ability to jump with the force of nature. That is my, where I get all my advantage from. One on one in like a real fight, a lot of times, I'm not very good. I don't think my aim's good, but my jumping ability can annoy the hell out of people. All right, that's the soldier that likes the battlements so much. I don't blame them for staying up there, though. I pop up there all the time, so people that want to ambush me, definitely that's the place to be. I'm not going to get anyone that way. Let's see if he's still up there. Nope. No one's up here. Snipers, okay. Ornament shot did something. Can't get away from that soldier. Can't do it. He's putting good shots on me. Well, Mixer, I have to bail TF2 today. All right, Andy. I appreciate you playing. Good work. It's nice having an extra weekend, isn't it? Or extra days off. Yeah, we're not able to do much there. Those guys are quickly pulling back to their resupply. I'm not going to do anything there. Sometimes it's good to try and draw people out. They are sticking to those respawns. He should be about dead. Alright, yep. 
Pug, I think I'm going to... It's probably your fault they can't get out. You just snipe them over and over. That's probably what's going on here. They cannot get out of the base. This is typical two-fort stuff, though. That was another good shot. They are piled up in front of those respawns. Tomorrow you can maybe help me with achievements. Yeah, I'll be glad to, man. I will be glad to do it. Shouldn't be hard to knock out that one you were talking about. Should be pretty easy. Alright. Had to wait on those rockets. I was hoping he would reload there. Finally, no, you're not going to kill that guy either. I mean, we just can't get to him right now. We cannot get to the op opposing team right now. It is not happening. Christmas came early. Is it letting you do a trade? I tried to trade with Andy like a week or so ago, and it wouldn't let me do it because he doesn't have a premium account. Andy, don't sub to me, dude. I'm going to tell you again. Don't sub to me. Go buy yourself premium TF2. That's what you need to do. You've got your orders. Wow, I got a kill for like the first time and it feels like an hour. Alright, finally able to do a little bit of something here. Nope, they're piled up in front of that resupply. Can't do it. Oh, you sent a backpack extender. Okay, maybe it'll let you do that, but it won't let you do like regular items. I tried, All I wanted to do was give them a force of nature and it wouldn't let me do that. I'm not happy with Valve. Because some people steal in trades, now it won't let you do hardly any trades, even when you know exactly what you're doing. I can't push too far into the base. Let's see what's going on over here. Probably nothing. Got him. Alright, something happened. Alright, engineer should be badly hurt. Yeah, that's not the guy I was going for, but I'll take it. Got him! <laughs> Got him with the ornament. That was a lucky shot, but I'll take it. That was a lucky shot. And uh, I'm going to re repeat it again. Any of you guys want to add me on Steam? Drop a message first on Steam. And say you're from the stream or something. That would help me as well. Because I've got so many people to go through on my Steam friends list, like 200 friend requests, and I just want to add you guys that are hanging out. I don't want to add just random people that have seen me like one time. That's what I used to do in Quake Team Fortress, and all it did was clutter things up, and people just send messages all the time, and I didn't want to respond to it and all that stuff, so I'm going to do that. What's going on here? People not doing anything. That's what's going on. This is oh, by the way, this is a good hiding place, guys. If you want to jump up and hide in a spot, if you can launch yourself with an explosion or the force of nature, this is a nice hiding spot. And I, it's like dark up here too, so they can't see you real easily. See, and they're not going to look up here because they don't think anyone's ever going to be the, up there. Alright, I'm going to go back up here because there's just nothing going on in the basement. What the hell was that? Oh, it was that guy. Okay. Alright, I don't have enough health to get into a fight right there. I'm just going to go back and snag health. That's why I don't use the... You think you got it? Why wouldn't it let me trade with you the other day? That was ridiculous. I even did the email confirmation and it still didn't do anything. That is frustrating and hard to believe. Exacom, thank you for following, dude. I appreciate it very much. I missed the sound notification. That is on me. I'm an idiot. Alright, our team has really made some pushes here. Rustic Conductor, he's doing a really good job healing. 
All right, engin oh, engineers. Okay, that's bullcrap. You know what happened there? The guy's AFK, he, and that means the game's playing for him is like a bot, and he like locked onto me perfectly. The bots can do that. That's not something he deserved. You don't know? I don't know either, Andy. That was garbage. Let's just blame Valve. That's what you do when things go wrong in TF2. You blame Valve. That's why K4 can't get in the game either. Did he just blow himself up to kill me? Yeah, he did. All right. That guy just got switched. Oh, I was supposed to go like 15 minutes ago. This always happens. That was St. Joseph right there. All right. We just got crits right at that very moment. Alright, take that guy out. I was in a good position to get him right there, really was. Second overtime, Oklahoma scored another touchdown. Pug is 45 to 38. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a crazy game. Alabama's game later on is not gonna be crazy. We're gonna we'll probably roll over old miss. Oh, the bleed got you. Got you with the ornament. Oh, they're setting up sticky traps. Okay. I can shoot the stickies, but that would also compromise my positioning right there. Whoa, didn't expect that. Alright. Did not expect to see that right there. Got him. Alright. Causing some problems for Red right now. Are you can nope, not gonna go that way. All right. It's so much fun just playing this game. I never want to stop once I get into it. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm not working. I'm playing TF2. Ah, oh, that irritates me when I can't finish people off. Too many stickies. You shouldn't be using Flog, man. Flog sucks. Yeah, St. Joe's, and your team's getting run over right now. It's nothing you're doing. <laughs> Red's having a hard time getting a foothold. We're building on the bridge. It's turned into a disaster for Red. It is turning into a disaster. We finally got past all their battlement stuff. He's in the respawn. You're carrying your team. <laughs> yeah, you're carrying the team, man. No one else, you've been like constantly pushing, not many other people have. Setting up my future work. I wish, I wish, that would be cool, Exacom. That would really be cool to be a career streamer. I, I'm not betting on that ever happening, but it would be super cool. I mean, I see guys with like 10,000 viewers and stuff, and I'm like, holy crap, man, that is incredible. I'm kind of new to the understanding the whole streaming thing too. I've really just got picked up on it over like the past three or four years. But it is incredible how popular some people are. Absolutely incredible. And all my problems would be solved as far as time constraints if this was my real job. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. We'll see. Look at all this camping, good God. You know your kill streak is lucky as crap or not easily gotten when everything is going on in the opposing team's base on 2 4, and that's what's happening right now. Oh, they're building a sentry, really? Yeah, and I'm not gonna get it. No, oh, I just got blasted. There we go. Nice shot, Pug. Really nice. St. Joseph's trying to do stuff, but no Reds are pushing with him. It's still trying. I got the sentry. Wow, they didn't repair it? What? Just killed a guy in his own respawn. I like that. What's going on over there? Nothing. Oh, stickies. Get out of there. Get them with the ornament. More stickies. Good. Okay, there goes another sentry. I like killing sentries. Oh, 
we got another sticky trap. Not gonna get them in their own respawn. That is not gonna happen. There's more stick. Good God, the red team is all of them have just gone sticky trapping. Anything going on down here? Probably not. Nope. I'm just looking for something going on that's not stickies right now. No, they're doing stickies from their respawn. That's cheap as hell, dude. That is cheap. Alright, push him off. Missed every shot, man. <laughs> I did what I wanted except finishing him off. And now he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Crap. <laughs> oh, there's a heavy. Get him with the ornament. Heavy should be about dead. Yep. I am on the... Uh, it did not escape. Good shot. Good shot. Alright, I got him there. It's on instant respawn. It's an instant respawn to Fort server. So you're going to see the same people over and over and over. Which is fun. This is how I played Quake Team Fortress back in the day. I haven't moved on very much. I first played that in 1996. And I'm still playing 2 Fort without much change. I was playing 2 Fort back then as well. Oh, that, my teammate just bailed me out right there. I was totally vulnerable. That, was, that soldier got caught in a bad spot twice. Alright, we got stickies from their own respawn again. That felt like a meat shot that didn't work. Oh, I knew you were going to do that. Good move. I thought you went the long way. I was going, where the hell did he go? <laughs> Very nice move right there, St. Josen. You earned that kill perfectly. Very nice. Mixer, did you play two fort without the roof? Yes, I did. Without this roof right here on the bridge. And the, the Quake Team Fortress roof, was there was no roof on there. And the bridge was longer. So snipers, you were at the mercy of snipers. The, I mean, you were at their mercy. It was sheer misery to cross the bridge when the opposition had a good sniper. How is that not dead? Okay, it's dead. Alright, I'm going to spawn camp this engineer because I know he's going to come out and build it again. And that's what we do. Except I, I didn't kill him. Every, oh, I got him. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, everything worked great except for what? <laughs> oh, man. I never want to go back to another version of 2 Fort without the roof ever again. You can look up Quake Team Fortress 2 Fort matches on YouTube and you can see what the map looked like back then without the roof. Good shot. Good shot. Really good shot. Okay, there was a sentry up there anyway, so I was about to say, if I didn't just run in there and kill him, I'd screwed up, but the sentry would have gotten me if I'd done that, so no harm done there. There's another engineer that I want to die. He's dead. Don't even know how I died. I did not earn that one, St. Joe's, and the soldier got that kill for me. Let's see what's going on here. Sticky camping. He's still doing it. That guy's protected by a sentry. Can't do much there. I'll help my medic out with the milk. Nope, he died. Okay. Someone got hit by the ornament. St. Josen, was that you? Oh, you almost went back up there. Nice try. <laughs> that was only that was a great escape attempt. I do that a lot too. The scout in Quake Team Fortress did not have this level of combat capability either. So that was also something new I had to adjust to. I played Scout a lot in Quake Team Fortress. 
in, in clan play, which was much more difficult because you had very little to work with as far as offense. I told you not to build that. How many times must we teach you this lesson, old man? I don't want to spawn camp this guy. I'd rather not. I got the engineer and the sentry. I'm, I'm pleased. That was a successful run. Block kick. Now we just need a field goal to win. Awesome. Oh, it just happened. I missed it. Drive to the one and kick a field goal like it's an extra point. Dude, back in the year like 2000, or it was 1999, it was one of them, Alabama, we were playing against Michigan when they had Tom Brady, and we were going back and forth with them like perfectly. It was, they had just scored a touchdown in overtime, made it 35 to 28. And all we had to do was kick a, um, get a touchdown and an extra point to keep the overtime going, and we missed the extra point, and that's how they won the game. That was the like 2000 Orange Bowl. My dad and I just about collapsed when that happened. <laughs> I could not believe it. Alright, I don't like these stickies. They're everywhere. He's never missed a field goal. Alright, so hopefully that'll be a win for you guys. Alright, got somewhat of a short pass here. Oh, nice. A nine yard gain. You got this in the bag. I can't do anything with this. There's way too much. Uh oh, St. Joseph's right there. Oh my god! <laughs> you ambush the ambush. I took you to 30 hit points. I thought I could get you there. Your jump was perfect. Most scouts, when they round the corner like that, they don't take that jump. That changed everything. So that's that. That guy has built that sentry again. I hate him so much. <laughs> I hate him so much. This isn't going to help me. Yeah, he's sitting in the respawn. That is going to do no good. Did I see stickies right there? I think I did. Of course. That is, that is some new level of sticky camping right there. Sentries are right there. I was going to try and get the demo man from the back. Not going to happen. Well, welcome to Fort. <laughs> this is the way it goes. This is the way it goes. And we have a sentry outside their base as well. Don't think I'm going to be able to kill that sentry. Nah. He's doing a good job up there, man. He's doing a good job. Make sure if you don't go to work, I swear I will turn friendly. All right, last life. You, you Andy, you forced my hand. Anything but going friendly is acceptable. No, oh, I would have had that guy if they hadn't healed him. Crap. I, they were overhealed. That was some good meat shots there, but it's not going to happen otherwise. That's not... Yeah, <laughs> we've got so much crap outside the base right here. This is one hardcore amount of... Let's see, I'm going this way, man. I'm, no, I can't go that way. The sentries are there. It won't work. It won't work. I was going to say, I'm going to drop down back through the courtyard and just hit them from behind. That's not going to work because I just remember the sentries are there. There might even be one there. Okay. That was a cheap kill right there. Sentry's still there. Yep, he's rebuilding it. Uh, <laughs> this is some kind of stalemate. This is a stalemate to end all stalemates. Normally they're not this bad. I mean, I've seen bad ones before, but this one's on another level. It's been going for a while. And these demo men know, are doing a good job with their sticky traps on top of that. He's using the Scottish Resistance. Not going to be able to get him. He's sitting in the respawn. 
Well, I thought that this life was going to end fairly quickly, but it's not. I'm not just going to throw it away. But I've really got to head out, unfortunately. It's been fun. Back to work. He's just going to die to that sentry. Or is he going to kill it? He just killed it. Holy crap. All right. And that's what you get right there. And that's what you get for building it. Oh, so close. That was a good fight, man. <laughs> I just pulled back at the last second. Your melee swing came within like an inch. Now, what is this? Oh, a trollger. Really? That's no threat. You have the rocket launcher equipped, or the rocket jumper equipped. Not gonna push that way. There's sentries and stickies and God knows what else. Can't push that way. Such a defensive setup. What do y'all work as? I do basic graphics and photo editing design for like some local businesses and stuff in my area and basic web pages and stuff for them. Basically, they they tell me what, what kind of work they want done for graphics editing for their website. I do it. I send a rough draft to them. They send it back and say, I want it like this. And then we keep going until we reach an agreement. That's basically how graphics design works. When you've got several clients in the area like I do. Some are more picky about the work they like than others are. And some people are like, yeah, that looks great on the first try. You, you just never know. It's an, it, it's, it can be a slow, tedious job, and sometimes it can be a little better. Kind of a mixed bag. You never really know what you're going to get. Oh, my God. I, I cannot break through. I can't break through right there. All right. I said I was going to stop ten minutes ago. I'm still playing. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to have to pull the plug. All right, one more death. This is it for sure. I said that three deaths ago, but this is it for sure. This heavy, I want him to die. I got him. Just had to keep trying. How long have we had this set up on the bridge, man? Oh my god, they finally blew up our sentry. St. Joseph's pushing. He, he wants to push. Alright, that's not exactly a fair fight. We had like five guys out here. More than that, our whole team's right here. That's not a good place to be if you're a heavy. It's really not. <laughs> you guys watching, don't do that what that heavy just did. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't stand there with your gun stuck around the corner where everybody can see you. St. Joseph's trying to push, man, but we've just got so much up here. And I'm not surprised that, that guy should have been dominating me long ago. The mixer got to go see you tomorrow. All right, Andy. Oh, that was my last death, too. I just died, so that's the end of the stream for today. I've been going a long time. It's been fun, though. It has been fun. Good game, everyone. What is this? Dead Ringer. Okay. Oh, good stuff, good stuff, guys. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Fun times. Ugh. I feel like I haven't moved in, like, forever. I need to stop doing that. I need to get up and stretch every now and then. All right, guys. I appreciate y'all tuning in today. And thanks for guys joining in as well. It was good times. I will add you guys on Steam when I have a chance to go through my Steam request on Friends. That's going to take a little time because i got like 200, but I'm going to do it. Good game, St. Joseph. It was a lot of fun fighting with you, man. You are a very, very, very good scout. That was very entertaining. Win or lose, it is all good. So I will catch you guys another time. I will be back at regular time tomorrow, starting at noon, noon central. So uh, you all have a gr good rest of your Saturday, and take care until next time.
Utterly Milked, thank you for following as well. Just caught that. Appreciate it very much. Welcome aboard. So y'all have a good Saturday, and I will see you soon.